This question's for Dana. Uh, where's Amanda, Dana? Where's Amanda at? It's, it's not too late to get her here. I heard that she tested negative. Oh, yeah? yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't, you didn't know that? Soon, honey. Okay, you will so be fighting soon. When, when, get back. Enjoy when, the fights this weekend, and you will be fighting very soon. When? Known around the world as the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena burst onto the mainstream stage after her shocking victory against Amanda Nunez, establishing herself as one of the baddest female fighters on the planet. Everything the vixen has in her life she earned with her two hands, fighting her way to stardom and riches. For those who had been sleeping on the champ and missed her rise to fame, we've got you covered, as these are the 10 lifestyle facts of Juliana Pena. Number 10. Juliana Pena Early Life Born on August 19, 1989, Juliana Pena would come to call Spokane, Washington home after her parents, Ernie and Pamela, migrated from Venezuela to America. Her father worked as a boilermaker in Spokane and together with the missus raised four children, including Juliana. Pena credits her parents for her work ethic, which paid dividends in her fighting career, but more on that later. But for now, Pena attended Mount Spokane High School and after her graduation, she enrolled in Spokane Community College. It seems like the Venezuelan vixen had a competitive spirit from a young age as she picked up kickboxing in her teens in order to get into better shape and also to channel her aggression in a more positive manner. We're sure her brother and sisters were happy that she stopped hitting them and started hitting the heavy bag. Number 9. Her Family Anyone who has seen Pena's social media has seen her adorable daughter, Issa Cruz. Pena's daughter was born on October 2017, and the two shared a beautiful moment in the octagon together after Pena became champion, as she credited her daughter for inspiring her and giving her the motivation to keep fighting, even though all the time off and injuries she suffered in her career. While Munch isn't known about her husband, it is safe to say that Pena found the right man as she hasn't looked happier since giving birth to their daughter and returning to competition. But pop quiz, can you guys name any other mom champs in combat sports? Number 8. How She Started MMA it was this fighting spirit that got her interested in MMA. She competed twice as an amateur, winning both bouts handedly, before making her professional MMA debut. Right away, Pena showed glimpses of a future world champion as she ran through her first four opponents quickly, finishing all four of them with either submissions or punches. Safe to say, Pena made the right career choice by pursuing fighting. However, Pena would receive a wake-up call shortly after to let her know it wasn't going to be all smooth sailing. She would suffer her first career loss in her fifth professional fight, which came just two months after a deadly accident that left Pena unconscious with a broken nose. Talk about toughness. Rebounding from such hardship would become a habit for the future champ as these earlier setbacks only made her more resilient and hardworking. And she would need both of these traits for what was to come next. Number 7. Career Achievements Currently, the Venezuelan vixen is ranked as the best female bantamweight fighter on the planet after her incredible win over Amanda Nunez last year. More on that in a little bit. Along with that, Pena skyrocketed up the pound-for-pound -pound list, landing at the third spot. Her current 11-4 MMA record is balanced nicely with five submission wins and three via TKO KO. Just over a minute now to go in the round. Let's do it. For her finish against Milan Dudavia and Amanda Nunez, Pena earned herself a nice $50,000 performance of the night bonus. And finally, in 2021, ESPN voted her the Female Fighter of the Year. Who have been some other female fighters to get such a coveted prize from ESPN? Hint, Pena defeated one of them. Number 6. Various Sponsorships Once the Venezuelan vixen achieved her goal of becoming the UFC champion, a ton of sponsors came calling. The biggest one being Jones Soda Company, which is a settle-based beverage company. Not only will Pena get a nice chunk of change from the company, she'll also get to make her own drink flavors. The sponsors keep rolling for Pena as companies such as Columbia Care, a cannabis company, recently sponsored the champ as well, along with Asana Health and the tech company Philo. Now, all of this is in addition to her previous sponsors, No BS Skin Care, which is a vegan and gluten-free skincare company, and Designs for Sports, a vitamin and supplement company that keeps Pena ready to go for her upcoming fights. 
So the champ is doing pretty well for herself, but stay tuned to find out how well exactly. Number 5. Fight Pays As Pena has climbed the bantamweight and pound for pound ranking, she has seen an uptick in her fight purse as well. Starting off her UFC career, she earned just $16,000 for her first fight. But that would increase to $30,000 for her second fight along with a $50,000 performance bonus. Some of her recent paychecks include $100,000 night at the office when she beat Sarah McCann, and most recently the Venezuelan vixen took home a cool $470,000 home along with a shiny gold belt after she defeated Amanda Nunez at UFC 269. Safe to say those early kickboxing lessons were well worth the pay. Number 4. A Social Media Presence Everything has been going good for the champ as after winning the belt not only did she gain a bunch of new sponsors but also an army of followers. Currently her Instagram following is at 530,000 and if you follow Pena on there you can catch glimpses of her training sessions as she prepares for a new fight along with a few sponsor adverts such as eye creams and face masks along with Jones's drinks. While on Twitter, the champ is busy talking to nearly 135,000 people, where she gives her insights on the latest fights and MMA news, along with promoting her stint in the new Ultimate Fighter, where the once contestant is now the coach, training a new wave of fighters who wish to follow in her footsteps and become UFC champs as well. Number 3. Ultimate Fighter Show Pena would really make a name for herself on the Ultimate Fighter Show, which featured the likes of Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. Right away, Misha Tate saw something special in Pena as she picked her first overall. Uh, Juliana. That was a shocker. <laughs> and Pena would make sure not to disappoint her new coach. The whole thing must have felt like a dream for Pena as she not only got to beat Rousey's number one pick, Shayna Baszler, but then got the opportunity to avenge her first ever professional loss as she faced off with Sarah Morass once again. This time, Pena wouldn't leave a doubt as to who was the better fighter between the two as she secured a second round submission win. On November 30th, 2013, Pena would face Jessica Ricosi in the Ultimate Fighter 18 finale and win via TKO in the first round, becoming the first women's Ultimate Fighter champion in history. Can you name the other Ultimate Fighter winners who went on to become UFC champions? Number 2. Beating Amanda Nunez on December 11, 2021 at UFC 269, Pena would make history. That day she stepped into the octagon against the greatest female fighter of all time, Amanda Nunez, who has been on a legendary win streak. The odds showed how impossible of a task it was as Pena came into the fight as the 6.5 to 1 underdog. So when the Venezuelan vixen turned the tide of the fight in the second round by rocking the champ, Nunez and the proceeding to choke her out, it would be an understatement to call it the upset of the year. Regarded as the greatest upset in MMA history, Pena showed her world-class heart and determination as she becomes the new bantamweight queen. Afterward, Pena would say some incredibly motivating words, mainly directed at her daughter, who celebrated with her in the octagon. Told you! Don't ever doubt me again! Willpower, strength, and determination! It will take you places! I know that I have a big, huge will and determination. You can do anything you want in this life. Who, in your opinion, has the greatest upset win in UFC history? Number 1. Her Net Worth With all that has happened in Pena's world recently, it is safe to say the champ is living her best life. From the influx of followers to all the companies trying to sponsor her along with the uptick in pay from the UFC, Pena is seeing more money now than she has ever in her life. With that being said, we estimate the Venezuelan vixen has a net worth of about $1.5 million, which could look to double or triple in the near future as she is set to defend her title against Amanda Nunez again. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell beside it so you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched the lifestyle and net worth of the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. See you next time.